right? And sometimes Filipinos become white, right? Somebody said this morning. <laughs> Depends on where you are. Like, <clears throat> it could be confusing. And then gender matters. We always forget. We should always, when we do statistics, we have to be gender sensitive. Now in economics, they have green economics, they have gendered economics too. Don't just say GNP, that yeah, but women get seven out of 10 of what men get. You have to be more specific. And in some countries, they did a study of women in parliament, okay, and how do we fare? So that's an example of how they do it. But just because we talk about gender, LGBT, you know, everything else, don't forget social class. You think it's not important? It is. Especially now, it's an attack on the working people. No tenure of security. The middle class is losing its status as middle class, joblessness, people out in the street, people need more support. Collective bargaining, they're gone. They're not in the dustbin of history. We have to restore and also include back class analysis. Uh, this cannot be put in a sheet of paper. And I can show that it's interactive, dynamic, and alive. It's a framework, but I say, if we want to study society, there are many things we have to look at. First one, nature, the, the one on the right, white. That's a context in which we live. But then we have a society, another layer, okay, in it. And then when we go to the inner circle, you have philosophy, psychology, economics, uh, ideology, politics, an inner more circle, color, age, gender, abilities. Let me also mention, he just did it in a list form. I did it in a lively form, okay? <laughs> Competition going on here. <laughs> Uniqueness, difference, ethnicity. So, and then the human being, it's not just a blob. Rather, we have all of those differences. Even in this room, we have, we have all those differences. And there are forces that say we should keep it as it is. That's the structure. We can get out of it. You're born with it, live with it. Okay? Those are some forces that say you just have to accept things as they are. But then there are other forces that say, no, just because I'm born XYZ doesn't mean I have to accept I'm XYZ. I want to be X prime, A prime, and N prime. <laughs> People create their own identities. So you move out. So you have the past, present, and future. It's not one dead process, <clears throat> which is uh, synchronic but diachronic. You move through different stages. Okay, so different uh, states, communities have different contexts and needs. And this is also, Levy mentioned it too, when we're programmed, it's not A, B, C, D. I don't know why we think, I think he, he copied my PowerPoint file when I was sleeping, he stole my file. <laughs> okay, rather, you have uh, people who are acting in society. First, you have to, not first, I'm sorry, one of the things we look at would be the context the circle on top. Then you have the state. Do people interact with the state? Okay, is there consent or dissent? Is there repression and is there armed uh, hostility going on? And then you have another one, skills that we need to do social change work. Environment, human rights, everything else. And core values that we say are non-negotiable human dignity, for example, human rights, integrity of creation, but for people who are non-believers, you change our vocabulary, integrity of nature, and then all kinds of work, advocacy, development, and so on. Why is there a spring there? It's another way of saying